New Jersey's favorite son, Bruce Springsteen, supposedly got stuck with his nickname The Boss while still a teenager in the 60s. The story goes that he acquired it by taking it upon himself to collect his band's nightly pay from clubs and distribute it to the other musicians. Despite allegedly hating the nickname, he was obviously still calling the shots 40 years later, as he and the E Street Band prepared for their 2009 world tour. Usually we'll play a little longer in the States before we go to Europe at this time. As far as who decides the songs, well... <laughs> I'm the boss. The boss decides. The boss decides what we play. <laughs> Nobody else decides. <laughs> People suggest. <laughs> Hint. Beg, cajole, <laughs> but I decide. The E Street Band, which has backed Bruce since 1972, may have seen a few lineup changes over the years, but still contains original members Clarence Clements and Gary Talent, as well as his longtime collaborator and friend, guitarist Stephen Van Sant. We stayed together, you know, we stayed alive. That's, that's hard to do for people in our business. Uh, uh, and, and, uh, uh, it's, true, it's true, you know, and uh, and and also, you know, we've been imagine doing you're working alongside of the same people you were with in high school you know, for 40 years or so, and keeping that together. So, so all of those things are nice, and they're, they're sort of uh, uh, they just kind of come up as they do. But but in the end, it's it's you know it's corny, but it's this, it's a, it's it's the long long ride that it's all about. The Long Long Ride has included releasing eight Billboard 200 number one albums, the most famous of which was Bruce's 1984 smash Born in the USA, which sold 15 million copies to become one of the biggest selling albums of all time. It also spawned seven top ten singles and was followed by a sellout world tour. The album's title track, which was in fact a criticism of the US government's treatment of Vietnam veterans, was misconstrued as jingoistic by some politicians and corporations. But his famously blue-collar views have led to strong associations with the Democrat Party, and he was invited to play at Barack Obama's inauguration concert. He also recently won a Golden Globe Award for his song The Wrestler, which featured in the 2007 film of the same name starring Mickey Rourke. And before heading out on tour in 2009, he and the band warmed up with a little half-time gig at the Super Bowl. I think that, that really what, why we said yes this year, they asked us many times, and was because, one, we have a new album coming out, come <laughs> <in>. <laughs> Come on, there's a new record in the stores, you know. <laughs> so, it just happened to come out this past week. <laughs> so, so uh, we have our mercenary reasons, of course, you know. And uh, besides our deep love of football.